It's been a little more than a year since a deadly tornado hit Middle Tennessee. But for many of us, when we think of Tornado Alley, we think of the Midwest. But did you know the Southeast is more at risk for deadly tornadoes than anywhere in the country? Storm 5 meteorologist Heather Mathis looks at why the South is more vulnerable and how the risk is increasing. 2020 was not a good year for tornadoes in the South. In total, more than 70 people lost their lives. 27 of those deaths happened right here in Tennessee. Tennessee is a very active state for tornadoes. Chrissy Hurley with the Nashville National Weather Service says a number of factors put Tennessee in the Southeast at a greater risk for tornado damage and deaths. So if you've ever driven across Oklahoma, Kansas, it's very rural. You could drive for 30 minutes and not run across one person. But here in Tennessee, you know, it takes a lot of effort to drive for that long to not run into somebody. A denser population, even more trees in our landscape mean tornadoes have more to destroy. And so when those tornadoes, even the small ones, touch down, we're more likely than not going to see some type of damage. Southern states also have more people living in mobile homes, and that adds a greater risk in severe weather. It's one of the worst places you can be. Storms are also very common here at night when most people are sleeping. Tennessee is the number one state for nighttime tornadoes and we're the number one state for nighttime tornado fatalities. So it's ever more important to have multiple ways to have warning notifications that will wake you up so that way you can seek shelter immediately. As more people move to the volunteer state, the more vulnerable things are going to be with an influx of people comes likely an influx of damage tornado reports as well. In Nashville, Heather Mathis, News Channel 5. This is really interesting. When it comes to the number of tornadoes that happened in 2020, we saw the majority of them in the southeast. Bree is back here. Yeah. We actually doubled the Midwest. Which I think is a big shock to a lot of folks yeah. when you really look at the numbers from this. Classic Tornado Alley is the Plain States, right? It's the Dakotas down to Texas, and I think most people think that that's where the bulk of our tornadoes happen. But that's not the case. Take a look at the numbers. Last year, the majority of the Plain States had around 20 to 30 confirmed tornadoes. Texas, much higher. It's also got a larger square footage. Well, now look at the southeast. The southeast has long been considered a secondary tornado alley, and the word secondary, I think, can lead folks to thinking that it's less than. But when you look at the numbers, they're not. 50, 75 confirmed tornadoes in Georgia last year, over 100 in Mississippi, and here in Tennessee, we had nearly 40 on the ground. So if you add that all up across the southeast last year, we had 590 confirmed tornadoes. Now compare that back to the Plains, the classic tornado alley, they had 238. So when you compare the Plains to the southeast, 71% of the tornadoes happened in our area. 28% happened across the central part. And as Heather was telling you, it's not just the population density and the topography that has increased our risk for deadly and damaging tornadoes, it's also the frequency. Where we're at this year, that trend continues. So far, the Southeast has had over 300 tornadoes this year. The Plains haven't touched the 200 mark, so we continue to lead the country in tornado frequency. That's why it's so important to have a way to be prepared. So we've put together a section on our website at newschannel5.com slash prepare. Tons of resources there to help you and your family to make a plan so that you can be well prepared the next time severe weather threatens. Carrie.